Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to Azure This Week. So for those of you that have been watching this show for some time and we're expecting a witty, good looking, charismatic Danish host, well, this week he's gone away, but I've come in to save the day. My name is Alex Mackey and I work for an Australian IT consultancy called Redify. And I'll be standing in for Lars whilst he's off enjoying the Microsoft MVP Summit in Seattle. So in this edition, we'll be covering the following. Azure portal improvements the Azure Mobile App, Azure SQL Data Warehouse Workload Importance, Microsoft GameStack, and to be absolutely clear, there will be no llama jokes. Well, okay, maybe just a little one. Now, love it or hate it, and even if you spend most of your time in an Azure CLI or PowerShell window, it's almost 100% likely that at some point you'll need to use the Azure portal. We're not talking about a major overhaul here, but increased consistency across the portal and some great refinements and additions. There's been a heap of improvements here, so let us run through these quickly. The All Services view, Virtual Network Gateway Screen, MySQL, Postgres SQL, and MariaDB have been redesigned. The DNS Zone, Load Balancer, and Azure SQL Database Creation Flows have all been modified to be consistent with other creation flows, such as virtual machines and they all enjoy a simplified creation workflow. The activity log now supports viewing and filtering by management groups. Now, for those of you that haven't worked with management groups, you can think of these as a grouping above subscriptions that allows you to apply policies to subscriptions contained within a group. The Azure Security Center has several improvements and now shows your secure score as a KPI. There's also a new regulatory compliance dashboard and security recommendations have been improved. So strictly speaking, the Agile Mobile app wasn't released this week, although it did enjoy some updates. I wanted, however, to make you aware of this great app as I don't think it's that well known, and many of you will find this really useful. The Azure Mobile app allows you to track the status of all your resources, and you can even issue Azure CLI or PowerShell commands all from the comfort of your phone. So now, whether you're at home, on the beach, llama minding, you can manage and monitor your Azure resources. Azure SQL Data Warehouse, in Microsoft's words, is a fast, flexible, and secure analytics platform, and it has a great new feature, freshly released into preview, called Workload Importance. Imagine you had some really important work to do, but other lower priority work items had already been submitted. No problema. <laughs> Workload Importance allows you to map a login to an importance rating that can then be used to prioritize requests and skip the queue. This could be really useful, for example, to ensure that your exec users are given higher priority access to your data. GameStack is an initiative that brings together several tools and services offered by Microsoft that is aimed at empowering game developers of all levels. GameStack isn't just Azure-based services, but includes other services such as PlayFab, DirectX, Visual Studio, Xbox Live, App Center, and Havoc, and expect to see many more in the future. So why is this relevant to Azure this week? Well, Azure provides an important role in the game stack handling the compute and storage requirements. Several big players already utilize various Azure services such as Rare, UBISoft, Wizards of the Coast, and of course, Microsoft's own game services. As of this week, Microsoft has integrated PlayFab into the Azure family, so expect to see many more exciting developments in the future. That's all for now, Cloud Gurus, and next week, Lars will be returning. Yay! But he'll have more fabulous Azure news, and of course, I'm afraid, more terrible jokes. Thanks for listening and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Yeah.